All right, so the x equals y axis, ladies and gentlemen, is a little bit of a confusing one. And if you want to kind of get into what, what, what is the x equals y axis, if you guys remember when you were in Algebra 1, we learned how to graph linear equations. Yes? Maybe, right? Something like that. And maybe even in pre-algebra, you guys learned how to you know, write a table, and that created a, a line or a graph. So if I was going to choose points, let's say negative 2, 0, and 2, and my equation is x equals y, what does my y points represent, though? And so if I say negative 2 is for x, what does y be? What is y going to be? If negative 2 is x, so negative 2 equals y, what does y have to be for those to be equal? Negative 2. So it's the exact same points. So the y equals x axis, ladies and gentlemen, are the exact same x and y coordinates. And it looks like this. It's this nice little dotted line. Okay? Well, it does not necessarily a dotted line, but I'm going to use it as a reflection line. So if I want to reflect something over the x equals y axis, all we simply need to do is now um, flip the y and the x coordinate. You might say, what? How, what is this doing? How, how do you do this? OK. So what I'm trying to say here is if I have my point is 5, 3, all right, then if I want to reflect this, it's now going to be 3, 5. So let's go and plot 3, 5 and see if that makes sense for Alexander, OK? So if I go over 3 and then up 5. Over 3, 1, 2, 3, up 5. So do you guys see? I know, I guess I could probably put that a little bit farther over. Do you guys see how this point, this orange point, is now a reflection over this dotted line? Does everybody see that? OK. So when you have to reflect the y equals x, you got to reflect over this line. And all you need to do is swap the x and y variables. OK? That's all you guys got to do. So then this coordinate is 3, 5. And that's it. All right. We're almost done yet, ladies and gentlemen. Yes? You got your summary? You got your homework.